All right, so I'm going to give you my interpretation of all this and how I do this. Um, and I think the, the best place to start is going to be uh, talking about setting up tools, and then we're going to talk about a setup. All right, so, um, and I'll, prop, I'll do that in two different videos, but the first thing we want to talk about is setting up tools. So I've got my part drawn, drew it over here. Of course, you can see how I drew it, how I just did it half and then did a revolve. That's always going to be your better way to do it, um, as opposed to just pancaking these parts on top of one another. Because when you do it this way, um, you know they're concentric. That is, if you want them concentric. But let's move over here to the Manufacturer tab. And I've already got my setup, but that's not needed. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to manage my tool library. Okay. So, let me drag that over here. So, I'm going to notice the button that I need is up here. And when I'm over all, it won't let me have access to it. But if I click on the project, then it will allow me. So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to create a general turning tool. I'm going to call this an 80 degree rough turning tool and that insert is a CNMG 432 DM. Okay? I'm actually leave that off. We'll just go 432. CNMG 432. Alright, I'm going to copy that. I'm just going to do control C. And we're going to use this again here in a second, but just to keep from having to type all that again, I'm just going to go Control C to copy that. So my insert, so I'm just going to work all the way across. So my insert right here, notice all this right here. I could go through and I could key all this stuff in. And this is a recent update that Fusion did, and I think it's awesome. So I'm just going to type CNMG 432 and it's going to automatically populate all this for me. It should. Oh, let me get rid of that. So it picked this up and it did CNMG 432. Right? So it knows that we've got a 132nd corner radius, all that good stuff. I'm sorry, 232nd corner radius, 264th corner radius, I'm sorry. All right? So 132nd, all that looks good. Um, a holder, all this stuff is good. We've got a, uh, a, a holder with a negative 5 degree clearance. All right, it's a right-handed tool. All right, and you can change this, this rigid lock, screw lock, all that stuff, but... At the level that we're doing here, uh, that none of this really matters uh, right now, anyway. So, I'm going to make sure that uh, my compensation is on tip tangent and not tip center or insert center, any of that stuff. Um, obviously, when we're using G41 and G42, we are concerned about the tangency point of that uh, insert not the center of the tool, not the center of the corner radius, none of that stuff. So tip tangent. All right, so for my cutting data, for this, you can always go off the insert pack, but um, to me, in an educational institution like this, um, those numbers are high. So we're um, for, for this first project, we're going to be cutting steel. So I'm just going to say somewhere around 600 surface feet. We'll go 500 just to be safe. All right, so for my feed per rev, we'll go 10. And lead in, lead out, we'll talk about that later on. But I'm just going to set everything to 10 thou right now. And for my post processor, um, let's say that in your machine that tool was number four. You can go ahead and set it to number four. 
All right, but for this, we're just going to set it to one. And for my comment, that's where in my program, this is what's going to pop up beside my tool that's going to let me know what tool it is. And I'm just going to copy. I'm just going to paste, rather, what I copied earlier. So you remember where I typed all that in? I copied it there. All right. And if you want to, if you're setting up your tool crib for like a, 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 you know, a shop and you want to do it right, then you can always come in here and do like links and hyperlinks and stuff to, to different cutting data charts. You can do, you know, the link to where you buy from your supplier, all these different things you can do here. And it's all right here in one nice, neat little package. All right, so I'm going to accept that. There's my tool. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, a finisher as well. So I've got a finisher here with a 164 tool nose radius. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this one in here. We're going to go general turning. This is going to be a 35 degree finish turning tool. And this is a VNMG 331. So again, I'm going to copy that. I'll paste it later. So this is a VNMG 331. It's going to auto-populate all this for me. VNMG 331. Five degree, all that stuff is good. Tip tangent, just verifying. But for this, we'll go 600 surface feet. And we'll go... Mm, 6,000 per rev. Those processor, it's going to be tool 2. Alright. And then accept. Now, if I stop here, if I, if I stop here and, and finish, right, you know, go ahead and start, you know, programming. What's going to happen is next project I have, I'm going to have to rebuild these tools. All right, well, it's a better way of doing it. Once you build it one time, there's no sense in rebuilding it. So what we're going to do is right here, I'm going to export library. And I'm just going to call this Josh Test 2 uh, for video, whatever, name it, whatever you want. Okay, save it. So now I'm going to I'm going to act like this is a completely new project and I'm going to delete all this. Okay. So see no tools here. I can go to local, can import, it, it goes right to my downloads, open, there's my tools again. So if I've got another project, I can open this up later with those tools instead of having to rebuild every single tool. It's just a, a lot better way of doing it. Okay. So that was tool library. We added those two tools, an 80 degree rougher with a, a 264 stool nose radius, so an 031 3 tenths tool nose radius, and then we added a 35 degree with an 015 and 6 tenths tool nose radius, and then we saved those as our tool library, and then we, you know, just to verify that we deleted, and then we brought it all back up, okay? So just wanted y'all to have this quick uh, little little video, well, not quick, 10 minutes, I'm sorry, but um, on how to create these tools. And of course, as we get further, we're going to get into grooving tools and threading tools and boring bars and things, but we'll be building this tool library up. Okay? So that's it.